I just don't know how you do it, Riley. Those girls are so mean. How do you just look back at them like with a smile on your face? It's not easy. I just kept thinking about what's right. And the right thing is to not lose my temper. But you just look so genuinely, I don't know, like genuine. I've known you a long time, but you never cease to amaze me. You're my inspiration. Seriously though, how do you not lose your temper? All it takes for me is one comment. I guess I just try to remember what my mom has told me a million times. Under every bully that you'll meet, there's a person inside crying that they really just need a friend. Whoa, that's pretty profound. Can you say that again? Yeah, let me write this down. Under every bully that I meet, there's a person inside that is crying that they really just need a friend. You should have seen her today. Caroline just kept mocking Riley and calling her Miss Perfect. Okay, you don't need to share the specifics. You know how much I hate that comment. And it's one thing hearing it from Caroline, but you're my best friend. I'm sorry, and yeah, I know. Which is why it's even more amazing that you responded to her with such kindness. You just smiled at her, and your voice never even got loud. Your mom sounds like a pretty smart person. She is, but she also says that she's made a lot of mistakes in her life, and she just doesn't want me to make the same mistakes. That's a lot of pressure. Maybe, I don't know, but both my mom and my dad have really tried to teach me the right things in life and raise me to be something they're proud of. Isn't that every parent's job? You know what I mean. It's probably every parent's job, but my parents, well, they take it seriously, and I'm glad they do, actually. How is it that you have such a good relationship with your parents? It seems like you talk about them a lot, or at least the advice they give. Riley's parents are actually really cool. When I'm over there, they talk to me, they ask questions, and they really are genuinely kind. And there you have it! What? Riley's not the one who's perfect. It's your parents. Ha ha, very funny. But trust me, they aren't perfect either. There's been many times when my mom has lost her temper. But when she realizes it, she asks me to forgive her. But my dad, he's Mr. Calm, Cool, and Collected. And there you have it. Riley takes after her dad. That's how she does it, Kinley. I guess so. Her dad's pretty solid, too. <laughs> hey, we better get going. It's about time for Beach Club to start. Come on, Alex. I'll race you. Hey, everyone. I am so glad to see you. Me, too. Come on in. Set your backpacks down. And let's get started. We have some fun things planned for today. Cool. What's our character word for this week? Well, uh, I, uh, 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 dude, you think we're going to spill the beans just like that? Nope. Well, how are we going to talk about the character word if we don't even know what the character word is? I'm just messing with you, man. Drum roll, please. Our character word for the week is kindness. <laughs> now, let's just try to come up with a definition. Who wants to start? I'll go. I think kindness is just being friendly. You know, like being nice even if someone's been not so nice to you. That's good. Have you ever heard of the phrase, kill them with kindness? Yeah, but I always thought that was weird because if you're going to kill someone, well, that's definitely not a nice thing to do. You goofball, <laughs> Alex. I think the expression means that basically you respond with kindness. So consistently, when someone is being mean, that you pretty much kill the meanness right out of them. Or something like that. I like that idea, Oliver. And I'm not really sure where that phrase came from. I'm going to have to do some research on that later. Okay, so Riley gave us the start of the definition, being friendly to everyone. Does anyone want to add to that? What about just having a good attitude all the time, especially towards others? That's really good, Kenley. It's easy to be kind to those people that are kind to us, but it's not so easy to be kind to people that are mean to you, is it? Ask Riley. She's pretty good at it. <laughs> yeah, at school today, Caroline was picking on her. And from what Kinley said, Riley just smiled and was super kind to her. Wait a second, I wrote it down. Oh yeah, let's see this. Riley said that she's always kind to people because her mom told her that under every bully that you meet, there's a person inside crying that really just needs a friend. I'm not sure that's true about Caroline, 
but it definitely helped me stay positive and nice. I guess only time will tell. Riley, I gotta hand it to you. Keeping calm and staying kind is what it's all about. Great job and way to be kind. The truth is though, I wanted to just go off on her. But you didn't. That means you practiced our character word, kindness. Yes, so for our official definition, let's say kindness is a friendly, good nature attitude towards others. How does that sound? I like it, me too. Uh, Jordan, I don't think you're practicing kindness or set an example for us at Beach Club by getting your phone out right in the middle of club time. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was actually going to look up the kill him with kindness phrase we talked about earlier. <laughs> okay, you're off the hook this time. Don't let it happen again. I'll try to keep it under control, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> hey boys and girls, Pastor Mark is back and our story from the Bible today is another great one. It has a good guy, a villain, intrigue, suspense. <laughs> okay, let me set the stage. The good guy in our story, his name is Ananias. He was a Christian, a follower of Jesus. And Ananias was a man who showed kindness. Then we have the villain. His name was Saul. Saul hated Christians. Saul's goal in life was to hunt the Christians down and throw them in prison, even kill them. You can read the whole story for yourself in the New Testament book of Acts chapter 9 verses 1 through 22. Now that's page 1196 in your kids Beach Club Study Bible. Now if you turn the page you'll also see a map. You see our story takes place on the road between two cities, Jerusalem and Damascus. If you have your kids Beach Club Bible try to find those cities. Well in our story Saul was leaving Jerusalem and headed toward the city of Damascus to hunt down the followers of Jesus and put them in prison. While Saul was traveling down the road, kind of like one I'm on today, well, something happened. All of a sudden, a bright light shone down. It was so bright that Saul knew it must be from God. Saul fell to his feet, and then he heard a loud voice from heaven speak to him. The voice from heaven said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul asked, Who are you, Lord? And the voice replied that he was Jesus, the one whom Saul had been persecuting. While Saul was still on the ground, he asked what Jesus wanted him to do. Jesus told Saul to continue on the road to Damascus. Jesus told Saul that he should go into the city and someone there would tell him what to do. When the voice stopped, Saul stood up, but when he did, he was completely blind. His friends had to hold his hand to help him find his way to Damascus. Well, of course, this was a very traumatic experience for Saul. Now, don't forget about our good guy, Ananias. Ananias was living in Damascus. While Ananias was sleeping, the Lord spoke to him in a vision. The Lord told Ananias where Saul was staying in Damascus. And then the Lord told Ananias to go to a specific home in the city and there he would find Saul. Can you even imagine if God told you to go straight up to your enemy? But that's exactly what happened. Then God told Ananias that when he arrived, he should put his hands on Saul so that Saul could see again. Well, Ananias did just what God told him to do. He went to the house and found the notorious Saul. But at that point, Saul didn't look like the villain he was. Saul was praying, waiting for God to send Ananias to him. Ananias went over to Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road also came to me and sent me so that you can receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And just like that, Saul's sight was fully restored. Saul was also a changed man 
because he had an encounter with Jesus. Ultimately, Ananias showed incredible kindness to Saul, didn't he? You know, God showed us the greatest kindness by giving his son to die for our sin. We can trust Jesus as our Savior, just like Ananias and Saul, and make him our forever friend. We do that with God's ABC plan. Admit that you're a sinner and ask Jesus to forgive your sin. Believe that Jesus' sacrifice paid the debt for your sin and then choose to follow Jesus by turning away from your sin and choosing God's way rather than your own way. If you've never chosen to make Jesus your forever friend, I hope you'll do that today. Man, that was a good story, wasn't it? <laughs> Pastor Mark wasn't kidding at all. It really was filled with suspense and excitement. If I were Ananias, I think I would have been tempted to sucker punch that soul guy before he got his sight back. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Alex, but that's probably why God chose Ananias to do the job and not Alex. But no, now, Pastor Mark didn't mention the memory link in his lesson, but we mentioned it earlier. Does anybody remember where it's found? In the New Testament, right? Yep. I give up. You give up too easily, Alex. <laughs> but I guess I give up too. I can't remember. Only that it's something about fruit and kindness, I think. Okay, well, let's find it together. Hinley, you were right. It is in the New Testament in the book of Galatians. Now, if you know the books of the New Testament, won't you say something with me? Ready? Matthew, Matthew Mark, Mark, Luke, Luke John, Acts, Acts Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians. <laughs> okay, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23a. It's on page 1282 in your Kids Beach Club Study Bible if you're having trouble. Everyone found it? Yes. yes. Okay, let's read it. Galatians 5, 22 through 23a. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Galatians 5, 22 through 23a. All right, now take a look at it again. What's the fifth thing listed? Kindness. Nice. That is exactly right. And remember, kindness is having a friendly, good nature attitude towards others. It's going beyond any expectations and doing it cheerfully and lovingly. And true kindness can only come from God. Without Jesus in our lives, it is impossible to truly be kind on our own. I have a question. You guys have those lemons. Exactly what do lemons have to do with kindness? I was wondering the same thing. Oh, oh please don't tell Well, me. when Jordan and I were preparing, we were trying to come up with a good illustration and what better way to be kind to someone who is sour to you. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for any of us. Oh, come on, Oliver. <laughs> be positive, man. This is what we'll do. The verse is kind of long, so Jordan wrote it on the board for us. We'll take turns taking a bite out of a lemon, but we have to practice saying the verse with a kind and genuine smile. I told you this wasn't going to end well. So you're volunteering to go first, Oliver. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> how, about we, how about we all take the first bite together and say it? That is a great idea, Alex. Here we go. Ready, set, <laughs> bite. Let's go. Galatians 5, 22 through 23a. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Galatians 5, 22 through 23a. That was harder than I thought it would be. I know, but I have a little twist on the game. See, I have some sugar over here, and when we have Jesus in our life, 
Oh, I get it. Jesus is the sugar. Exactly. So let's all try it again and see how easy it is to share kindness when we rely on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ready? Set. Jason, for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, please. Here we rip. You ready, Jordan? You got yours? Ready. Ready? Mike? Galatians 5, 22, 23, and. But, but the fruit of the, of the Spirit, Spirit is, is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Galatians 5, 22. 23A. I can't believe how much easier it was with the sugar. Riley, I gotta give you props. Why? Well, I've been thinking about our lemon and sugar game, and I finally found out the reason you've been able to be so kind to that girl. Caroline? Yeah, to Caroline. Well, it's because Jesus is your forever friend, right? I think you're right. Like I said, I wanted to let her have it. But you didn't. You knew that God didn't want you to act that way. You knew it was wrong. I told you, she's my hero. <laughs> Whatever, Kinley. But yeah, Alex, I made Jesus my forever friend several years ago. I know I'm not perfect, but I do try to put into practice these things that, that we're learning and what your parents are teaching you too. Yeah, for sure. They've been followers of Jesus for a very long time. So I know they know a lot more than me. I told you her parents were pretty cool. <laughs> it honestly makes me a little jealous. I wish my parents were still together. Listen, God has a plan for each of us. I don't know why he allowed our parents to split up and Riley's to stay together. Hey, my parents are still together too. Aunt Riley and Kinley's families to stay together. But God loves us. He is always kind. And I guess the next best thing is to have a good friend with parents just like the one Riley has. Wait a minute. What? Did Alex just admit that we're his friends? Of course you are. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to blister you like a bully in our make it stick game. <laughs> Very funny, blister you like a bully. Well, we're going to kill you with kindness. Let's go, guys. I, I said blister! Blister! Bye. Uh. This is terrifying. I'm bad at trash talk. That's right, boys and girls. It's time for... Hey, hey, and now, here's our host, Steve Harley! Okay, today's Make It Stick game is called Jelly Bean Jingle. Yeah, here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a question. The first person to buzz in after I ask the question gets a chance to win a spoonful of jelly beans. Now, do not buzz in until I finish asking the hey, question. Hey, hey, I, I have a question. Why is it called Jelly Bean Jingle? Well, thank you for asking, Alex, if you would be so kind to let me finish giving the instructions. Oh, uh, oops, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. Now, as I was saying, do not buzz in until I finish asking the question. And for the final instruction, you must sing your answer. <laughs> that is why we call it Jelly Bean Jingle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get started, shall we? First question. Share one example of how you can show kindness. Oh, judges, the boys. By giving money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me give you some jelly beans for that answer. <laughs> Next question. Why was Saul traveling to Damascus? Yes. To arrest and persecute Christians. To arrest and persecute Christians. I like that. I will take that. Give me your bottle, please. 
Oh, we got a fumble on the play. That's okay. We showed the floor kindness. Next question. Who spoke to Saul on the road? Yes. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Let's be in the Show up with Saul on the road. What is the Come on. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Next question. Who did God send to help Saul? Yes, ma'am. Ananias. Oh, yeah. I like that. You can even modulate it. I like that. Let's go. Here we go. Get you some more jelly beans. Yes. Oh. Next question. How did Ananias know to find Saul? Yes. God showed him in a vision. Say it again. God told him in a vision. You're supposed to sing it. Say it again. God told him in a vision. That, that, you were supposed to go high. That, come on. Say it again. God told him in, in a, a vision. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. That's okay. But I did find these. There we go. I tried to find the low one. All right. Here we go. Next question. How did Ananias show kindness to Saul? Yes. He obeyed God and healed him from blindness. Oh, yes, that was a sweet tune. Do you get some jelly beans? <laughs> Where did Ananias receive the ability to heal Saul's blindness? Oh, my goodness, we got a double. Both of y'all hit the buzzer. That means both of you all have to sing at the same time. Give me the answer. One, two, three. God. Whoa, I like it, I like it. Here you go. Jelly Bean Junction, what's your function with this next answer? Say the memory link. Oh, my goodness, judges, what do we say? It looks like the boys. Here we go. Galatians 5, 22, 23. You do this. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. I got something coming in my mind. Okay. Galatians 5, 22, 23. A. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Galatians 5, 22. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, teach me memory. Teach me memory. What? Teach me memory. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. That's great. Let's give you some jelly beans for that one, sir. Here we go. You get some jelly beans. 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 You answer the next question. You answer the next question. How has God shown kindness to you? Oh, I don't know. Did we wait until the question was finished? What say the judges? Oh, oh, I don't think so. Boys, you get it? He sent his son Jesus to pay the penalty for our sin. <laughs> yes, that is it. You get you some jelly beans. Oh, my goodness. I guess it's time to take a closer look at these jars. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. It looks like, it looks like the boys win. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, we'll see you next time on Big Kids Day. Oh, looks like y'all had another good time, and they even got themselves some jelly beans. Mm. Do you have any licorice in there? I love these. That's my favorite, too. Yeah. Sure, help yourself. Thank you so much. Well, that's very kind of you. Okay, everyone, I did my research just like I promised. You figured it out, the Kilm of Kindness thing? Yep, and as best as I can tell, it originated with apes. Apes? What do apes have to do with kindness? Well, apes are very loving creatures, especially mama apes. And sometimes, mama apes hug their babies so tight that they suffocate them or even crush them. Aww. I almost wish I didn't know now. I know. Me too. Oh, do you guys need a hug? <laughs> well, maybe they just kind of killed them. Get it? Kind. Jason, kinda. you are not helping. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, on another note, 
How have you guys been doing with your Hang 10 challenge this week? I'm doing better. Me too. Ever since I made Jesus my forever friend, I just get more excited about spending time with him. That's what I like to hear. I only missed one day. Nice. <laughs> well, just remember the challenge. Spend 10 minutes every single day reading your Bible and praying. Seriously, it's doing the Hang 10 challenge that helped the fruit of Jesus be seen in your life. Mm. And we want sweet Jesus to be seen in our lives, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, it's okay. Hands in. Sweet Jesus sugar of kindness on three. Ready? One, two, three. Kindness!